Hello and welcome back to the Autrix Weekly Challenge for me, Nick Bignall. This is challenge number 154, Permute the Data. So this challenge involves trying to get to all the different combinations you can if you've got a, a binary on-off uh, switch. And we've got th three tools, in this case browse, input and output. And what are all the different combinations of on-off among those three tools? So if we go to the start file, um, we have here in the what we've got to achieve is a scenario which basically re is representative of each of these rows and uh, that we have in this table here, um, and then uh, the the app, the tool, and then whether it's on or off. So in this scenario, they're all off. In the next scenario, they're uh, browse and input are off and output is on okay so in the input data we've just got the tools nothing else so I'm thinking this this is down as hard but I'm not really sure why because I'm thinking I'm just thinking this through but you could just let's just start off with uh, what was it called option uh, two isn't it in here so option one and option two okay so we'll call it option two and we'll have off and on okay so they're the two options and all we need to do is get that on each for each one of these or do it not append will do that so if we run that what you end up with is you know an on off option for each of these so now we just have to turn this into a table where we can then work on it and what I'm thinking there is a cross tab so that will then give us the the uh, kind of the options across the top um, and then the view if we concatenate that what we'll end up with is a row yep yeah, with each one and then on off and then we can simply take this text to column. I'm really liking this text to columns tool. It's really cool. So off the browse one, the, the delimiter is delimiter is comma. And if we split to rows, it's th this is what I really like about this tool. It's a split to rows. So this is this is a really cool feature. And suddenly we've got two rows with it with them broken out, and the two different options on the other ones. You can see if we do it again. We can uh, do exactly the same thing again, but this time to choose the input data. And suddenly now we've got the different options available. It's, it's, it's multiplying it by the two options each time. So let's, um, let's do it again. Uh, and we should have the, the three, three, op three different scenarios or, or different tools and all the different options. There we go. So on, off, on, off 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 on so you can see that it's it's getting there so we now need to just reshape this um, and put in the scenario so the scenario is simply each one of these there are eight of them so there we can put in a record ID and we can call it scenario okay and uh, what that will do is that will give us the scenario for each one and then we want to transform it back again and transpose so group by the scenario and then we've got these three here and we run that and suddenly we've got the name and value and it's in exactly the same format so what we just have to do there is uh, the select tool will do it so this name is option one and this one is option two stick a browse at the end just to completeness and there we go that's it pretty much yeah the same on both sides oh they've got underscore i've got underscores without it but we can we know how we can deal with that Let's just do that very quickly. Uh, if we slide this along, we can then bring in a 
developer tool this uh, dynamic rename and we simply choose the fields we want and we formula it and then we just do uh, well, just build a function it's easier uh, in string uh, replace uh, then we put off the current field and it's simply a underscore that way and then space and we run that and now we should have the same yep there you go same or no perfect thank you very much for watching see you again next time